Growing up, going on a cruise was something that I thought only wealthy people could afford to do. Maybe that was because my folks really weren't all that much into vacations in general. Anyway, because of that belief, I pretty much thought that Vicki Steubing, as played by Jill Whalen on ABC's classic TV show The Love Boat, was the luckiest girl in the world. It's a special night on the love boat when the captain's past catches up with him. Are you going to tell me about sex? And she wants her daddy. Then on Fantasy Island, an old flame returns to stay. I love you. And the boss finally gets his fantasy to come true. Tomorrow. Making her debut during one episode of season two, by the time season three was in full swing, Vicky was pretty much a regular on the show. Yep, for a young teenager such as myself, I thought this girl really had it all. She got to travel the world while meeting really interesting people week after week on the show. And her dad was pretty cool too. He was the captain of the Pacific Princess. Although I could have sworn that in another life that guy had been a news writer for the evening news or something like that. Oh well, I must have been wrong. Anyway, you get it, right? Every Saturday night, my sister Valerie and I would eagerly anticipate watching The Love Boat and hope that if we were lucky, our folks would let us stay up a bit later and watch Fantasy Island as well. And around the same time as Jill's debut on The Love Boat, she also showed up in this little movie. Holy cow, that was a funny scene. And truth be told, Jill was the best part of it. Of course, my favorite part in the movie has to go to that jive-talking grandma played by Beaver Cleaver's mother, Barbara Billingsley. But that, my friends, is a story for another day. Getting back to Jill and the love boat, I kind of feel like we grew up together. Yep, lots of laughs and a tear or two. Love Boat was like that. Mostly funny, but every now and again, it would get you right there, tugging at your heart. I guess that's one of the reasons I like the show so much. So in all, Love Boat ran for nine seasons on ABC, and during that time, Jill would show up on various TV specials as well. A favorite of mine was when she was on The Battle of Network Stars. I loved all of the events on that show. I really did, but for whatever reason, that darn dunk take event would have me glued to the television. It's actually very nice. That's a hit and a dunk. So. After Love Boat ended, I've got to say that I kind of lost track of Jill. I didn't mean to. I really didn't. But truthfully, I don't believe I was the only one. So what happened? Where did this talented lady go? Well, the answer to that is... She really didn't go anywhere for the next decade or so. Jill would make all sorts of appearances on a variety of different shows, along with a Love Boat movie as well as the Robert Urich spin-off, Love Boat The Next Wave. But then right around 1998, based on the research that I was able to do, it does appear that Jill decided to step away from acting, at least in front of the camera. She became a producer in Los Angeles and even spent some time teaching acting to kids. And along with her career change, Jill and her husband also started a family. With all that going on, it seems fair to say that she was just living her best life, and at least for a while, that appeared to be enough. At least until 2012 rolled around. And then for whatever reason, Jill was back and busier than ever. The first thing that I noticed was when Jill made an appearance along with longtime friend Charo on the ABC television program Celebrity Wife Swap. And she also started a podcast with Brian Phelps, one half of the famous L.A. radio duo, Mark and Brian. And roughly around the same time, Jill also appeared in the family-oriented holiday film, A Christmas Tree Miracle, which, by the way, you can watch in its entirety here on YouTube. Not a bad little movie, if you ask me. A couple of years later, Jill made a cameo appearance on The Bold and the Beautiful, appearing as a group counselor for a couple of episodes. This wasn't the first time that Jill had appeared on a soap opera, having made a guest appearance on The Young and the Restless way back in 1997. And then, in 2015, Jill was named Celebrations Ambassador for Princess Cruises. Really, if you think about it, this is a match made in heaven. Over the years, Jill has found ways to stay connected with the cruise line that made her famous, and this official role is pitch perfect. Speaking of celebrations, in 2017, Jill tied the knot for a third time, marrying former Denver Broncos QB Jeff Napple. Things really seem to be clicking for Jill these days. In fact, nowhere was this more evident than on the Today Show's interview with the cast of The Love Boat to celebrate that show's 40th anniversary. I know, I know, how can that show be 40 years old? But it is. Trust me, I've done the math. 
Anyways, you can see this interview is also available right here on YouTube. It's a fun one to watch, and Jill, as always, is a hoot. For those wanting to keep track of Jill on social media, she has a strong presence on both Facebook and Twitter. In fact, it was on Twitter where I first learned about Gavin McLeod's passing. Yep, one of the people that I learned about it from was Jill. And it was on Facebook where I learned about another one of Jill's projects, a new movie called Take It From The Top, directed by Isaac the Bartender himself, Mr. Ted Lang. The show appears to be inspired very loosely by Jill's life, but from what I can tell it also appears to deviate substantially from real life events to take the film into some fairly comedic places. I haven't seen it yet, but I sure would like to. It really looks like fun. One final thing that you can watch on YouTube is a great video that's been posted by Princess Cruises on their official channel. The video is all about family and features Jill's two sons. All in all, it's a very cool video in which Jill also celebrates her 50th birthday. Check it out when you get a moment and you'll see exactly why it makes a ton of sense for Princess Cruises to align themselves with this talented lady. They come to her as strangers. Some are young. Some are starting over. And through the magic that she alone possesses, somehow she brings them together. And out of strangers, she makes lovers. The Love Boat. She's with you. We're with you on ABC. With you. I love those episodes of Love Boat where Charo would show up as April Lopez. There were a bunch of them. Did you know that Charo is also an amazing flamenco guitarist? Yep, she's one of the best out there. Just like Jill, there's way more than meets the eye with that lady. Alright, now it's your turn. Please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe to my YouTube channel. I talk about music, movies, and television. Mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.